So I've told myself I want to read more. And to be honest, I do, but Netflix is literally calling out to me, so I'm just going to put it on. This happens every time. In this video, I'm going to try to work out how to build a reading habit that I actually stick to. I'm probably going to nerd out a little bit about what happens in the brain when you read. And then I'm going to discuss three ways that I've been using to encourage myself to read more. Let's go. In medical school, I've been fascinated by neurology, so I want to know what happens when we read. Is there actually a scientific reason why it's so good? Okay, so I'm just gonna nerd out a little bit right now, but stick with me. I promise it won't be too boring, but I don't know if I can actually stick to it. When we read, we start by seeing all of the patterns and shapes on the page. These images are then sent to the back of the brain where they are processed, just like any other. Next it goes to the temporal lobe, specifically to an area called the brain's letterbox. This is where the black squiggles are then recognised as letters in a word. This information then travels from the letterbox to the frontal lobe and other areas of the temporal lobe. There we work out what this word actually means and how it's pronounced. In an experienced reader, this whole process takes less than half a second. I know what you're thinking, why does this matter, Jack? Well, I found a study showing that people that read 30 pages of a book each night have more left temporal lobe activity the next morning. Memory is found in this area so there's been some studies that link reading with lower risks of dementia. It's also linked to emotional regulation. So this could potentially explain why a lot of people find that reading helps to reduce their stress and anxiety. This area is also responsible for verbal recall. So it might help you to retrie retrieve your words, oh, why? <laughs> retrieve your words a little bit quicker. Although these second two points were only shown to work in the short term. So that means you have to build a habit to get those benefits. And that's what I've been trying to do. Right, so I've worked out how it works or got a, a brief understanding of it. So how am I actually gonna build this habit? Well, I've been reading The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday on the Kindle app in the morning. It's only a small dose of reading. Uh, it's literally two pages, takes less than five minutes. My plan here was to trick my brain into thinking, well, I've already read something today, so I might as well read a little bit more. And it's, it's actually been working. It's actually been working. I, I can justify later in the day to ignore my social media and just pick up a book and read a few pages instead. So when I read a book, if it was any good, I always feel like inspired to try and implement what this book has taught me. But then a couple of weeks go by and I've literally forgotten everything that it taught me. This is where the Kindle comes in. So I can highlight parts that have resonated with me and store them to refer back to. I tried to summarize them into a notion page, but this was too much extra work and I ended up not really sticking to it. So instead, I've been using this website called Readwise and it'll basically send you five Kindle highlights and just remind you of your favorite principles from the books you've read. So this has actually been working really well over the last few weeks. Uh, so Readwise has helped me to create a perpetual cycle where I'll read a book, highlight the best bits, and then get daily email reminders of those bits. And that then encourages me to read more. The only mistake I made on my Kindle was getting creative books. You see, if you read a book like this on Kindle, you lose literally half the experience because it's so visual. The final habit that I've been trying to implement is to set reading times. So every night before bed, I'll read something. And I've told myself it doesn't have to be for hours. It could just be a few pages, but at least read something. This one's actually been quite hard to stick to. When I'm tired, I just, oh, I cannot be bothered. So some days I've given myself a break, but most days I've been sticking to it and it's been working really well. Those are my three habits. 
Start small, make an archive of what you've learned and actually read it and set reading times. But this is only the start. I'm also gonna use this channel to help keep me accountable. I'm gonna make a book review of the best book I've read each month. So if you don't see those book reviews, tell me to sort my life out because I need to make them. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more videos of me showing my work, both training as a doctor and making videos, then hit subscribe. And I'll see you next week.